Welcome to Project Guts. For this project we are going to be doing uh, something called the Bumper Turtles Challenge and for this we are going to start with a project that already is started and we're going to add some code to it and the purpose of this is to learn about what are called conditional statements or logic and get our turtles to react to colors in the environment. And we are going to look for a project called Bumper Turtle Starter and we're going to uh, see that there are a bunch of people that have been working on this. I happen to know that the one that I want is right here and the reason why I know that is because uh, of this number here. So you'll look for slnova.org slash guts slash projects slash 4593 and this is the project that we're going to start with. This follows along an activity that is called trailblazers and the trailblazers is something that's using colored pencils and a grid and this follows along using similar skills but we're going to do it by coding. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to remix this so that it is in my gallery and that I can start to make some changes to the code. So we have our bumper turtle starter and you can see that there's some information that's already here. We have a new button that's called paint landmarks and a setup in a forever of course and we can see that there's already some code that is started. So we have some hints that are already in place. And you can see that the paint landmarks is um, something that is already populated with code and what it's doing is basically creating turtles that will move around and will do a quick stamp of a red, then a black, then a blue, and then they are deleted. And you can see that in the setup we're just creating four turtles. And so what does that look like? Well we can look at the paint landmarks and we can see that they are populated with some colors that are now on our terrain, red, black, and blue. And what we're going to do is we are going to have our turtles move around and react to these colors. Our setup creates some turtles in the center and there are four of them but they're all in the same spot in the very center there. So let's go down and take a look at our code. Uh, and that's about it for the um, setup. But the turtle is a little bit more complicated and this is where we're going to use those conditional statements. And what you'll need to do is to add code to this forever block and you can see that we have here the yellow if block and that comes out of logic just to show you where that is. And this is uh, a conditional statement and you can understand it as if something is true then do this. So in this case if the terrain color is blue then turn left by 90 degrees. You'll need information as well for the red and the black patches or terrain colors and don't forget to use the forward to have your turtles moving around the space land. So one thing you could try is to see how you can use conditional statements in other projects and uh, in other ways inside of this project. Explore and have fun.